All right, our next book is called Grandpa's Shed. So there's this one, and then there's one more Grandpa's book, and that's all I have. So if there's any more Grandpa's books have been written in New Zealand, maybe one of my New Zealand friends can send me a couple more. All right, Grandpa's Shed. Oops, sorry. Okay. On Monday, Grandpa said, I think I'll clean out my shed today. That's a good idea, said Grandma. Would you like me to help? No, thank you, dear. I can manage. I'll have it ship shape in no time, Grandpa told her. And off he went. Grandpa opened the door to the shed. Oh, dear, what a muddle, he exclaimed. He wheeled out the lawnmower, he cleaned the blades and oiled the wheels and filled the tank with petrol. Then Grandpa looked at the lawn. I might as well mow the lawn while I'm at it, he decided. So he mowed the lawn and clipped the hedges and swept the path. When he had finished, he wiped the mower and wheeled it back into the shed. I'll clean out the shed tomorrow, he said to himself as he closed the door. On Tuesday, Grandpa said, I'll carry on cleaning out the shed today. That's good, said Grandma. Would you like some help? No, thank you, dear. I can manage. I'll have it ship shape in no time. He took out his gardening tools as he, and he leaned them against the wall. He sharpened the shovel and cleaned the rake and the fork. Then Grandpa looked at the garden. I might as well dig over the vegetable patch while I'm at it, he decided. So he dug and he weeded and he raked. When he had finished, he washed the shovel and put all the tools back in the shed. I'll clean out the shed tomorrow, he said to himself as he closed the door. Do you recognize the shirt he's wearing? That's the same shirt he wore when he went to the beach, isn't it? On Wednesday, Grandpa said, I'll do some more work on my shed today. All right, said Grandma. I'll help if you like. No, thank you, dear. I can manage. I'll have it ship shape in no time, Grandpa told her. He lifted down boxes of nails and tins of screws from a shelf. Then he found a jar full of packets of seeds. Hmm. I don't think he's doing a very good job of cleaning his shed. He's just finding projects to do, isn't he? There were carrots and parsnips, beans and radishes, and even some sunflower seeds. Grandpa looked at his newly dug patch of garden. I might as well plant some of those seeds while I'm at it, he decided. He made neat rows with a stick, then sowed the little seeds and packed them down carefully. When he had finished, he put the jar and the boxes and the tins back on the shelf. I'll clean out the shed tomorrow, he said to himself as he closed the door. On t Thursday, Grandpa said, I'll finish cleaning that shed today. Are you sure I can't help? asked Grandma. No, thank you, dear. I can manage. I'll have it ship shape in no time, Grandpa told her. He pulled out a stack of old timber. I might as well fix that broken fence while I'm at it, thought Grandpa. He pulled off the old boards, cut new ones to fit, and hammered them into place. When he had finished, he hung up his saw and hammer and put the timber back under the bench. All right, he said to himself as he closed the door. I really must clean out this shed tomorrow. On Friday, Grandpa said, I still have a bit more work to do in my shed. Oh, dear, said Grandma. I'm quite happy to give you a hand, you know. No, thank you, dear. I can manage. I'll have it ship shape in no time, Grandpa told her. He took down some old tins of paint. There was brown paint and green paint, white paint and red paint. Some tins were nearly full and some were nearly empty. Grandpa shook all the tins and opened them. He stirred the paints with small sticks. It might as well paint that mended fence while I'm at it, he decided. So he painted the fence, then he painted the bird bath and the clothesline pole. When he had finished, he washed the brushes and stacked the cans back on the shelf. What a muddle! I'll definitely clean it all out tomorrow, he said to himself as he closed the door. <laughs> Uh-oh, look who's come to check it out. On Saturday, Grandpa said, I'll try and get that shed finished today. It's been a big job, said Grandma. Surely I can help you. Well, sighed Grandpa, I think perhaps I would like some help after all. Grandma looked into the shed. Oh, 
dear, what a muddle, she exclaimed. First of all, let's take everything out. Everything, asked Grandpa. Yes, everything, replied Grandma. Did you know that sometimes the best way to clean up your room or your closet or a bookshelf? Take everything out and then you start from scratch. Out came the lawnmower and the garden tools, the stack of timber and the pots of paint. Grandpa took his, down his tools and Grandma cleared the shelf. Before long, they had a big pile on the lawn. So now here's the trick. You can't leave that big pile on the lawn. You've got to put it away. Then Grandma cleaned out the cobwebs and wiped the dust off the shelf. Grandpa swept the floor and washed the bench. There, said Grandma. Isn't that better? Grandpa was amazed. Thank you, he said. I didn't know I had such a big shed. Well, I'll leave you to put it back, what you need, Grandma told him. Most of this stuff can be recycled. Grandpa worked his way through the pile. Finally, he called Grandma to have a look. <laughs> she stood at the door of the shed. What a surprise. Grandpa had put everything exactly away back exactly as it had been before. He had thrown nothing away. But what about all that rubbish, grasped Grandma. Rubbish? It's not rubbish, said Grandpa. These are my things. You never know when I might need them. He smiled as he looked around the shed. It's just how I like it, he said proudly. On Sunday, Grandpa looked in the cupboard under the stairs. Oh, dear, what a muddle, he exclaimed. Then he said to Grandma, I think I'll clean out this cupboard tomorrow. Oh, no, you won't, laughed Grandma. You leave my cupboard alone. It's just how I like it.